from lost ships discovered buried under major cities to haunted vessels that once played an important role in trade, here are 11 mysterious shipwrecks. Number 11. Abydos Boats Discovered buried in the sands of Abydos, Egypt, the Abydos Boats are a fleet of ships that, like other vessels, played an essential role in the lives of ancient societies traveling up the Nile River. They're among just a handful of surviving ancient Egyptian ships. Discovered in 2000, the Abydos boats date back an estimated 5,000 years to around 3,000 BC. 14 ships have been found at the site so far, where archaeologists believe they were intended for a first dynasty pharaoh. Measuring 59 to 78.7 feet long and 6.6 .6 to 9.8 feet wide on average, the boats probably had as many as 30 rowers each. Scholars believe that they were functional, but it's unknown whether they were actually used prior to their burial or if they were built specifically for funerary purposes. Some researchers claim that the Abydos boats are the earliest known example of built boats, vessels which were crafted by fitting wooden planks together rather than assembled with reeds or carved out of logs. Experts speculate that these complex ships were built to reflect the pharaoh's power and wealth. They may have also represented the sun god, Ra's journey in a solar boat through the sky and netherworld. Number 10. Ship 2109 While conducting a routine test in the Gulf of Mexico in 2019, researchers with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration discovered the wreck of a mid-19th century ship bearing the number 2109 on its rudder. Charred timbers suggest that the 124-foot-long vessel went down in flames, but nobody knows for sure why or when it sank. It's possible that the ship went down decades after it was built, and researchers failed to procure any clues about its crew members, identities, or nationalities. There was also no evidence of the ship's trade. Any useful artifacts for gleaning information, including the crew's personal belongings, may have been destroyed in the fire that seems to have taken down the ominous vessel. The only possible clue about who sailed on the ship, where they were from, and why, is the number 2109 in brass on the side of the ship. And so far, it's failed to lead researchers to more details. Do you have any guesses as to who the ship belonged to? Number 9. Bata Via During its maiden voyage from the Netherlands to Java in 1629, a flagship of the Dutch East India Company called the Bata Via wrecked about 50 miles mainland Australia's western coast. Shortly after the Bata Via wrecked, its commander, Francisco Pelsart, ventured off in search of food and water, leaving 282 survivors behind on Beacon Island. It took him three whole months to return. During Pelsart's absence, a merchant named Geronimus Cornelius assumed control at Beacon Island, ordering dozens of murders, including of women and children. His reign of terror ended when Pelsart returned and resumed leadership, executing Cornelius and several other mutineers in the process. Several mass graves have been found on Beacon Island, which has since earned the nickname Murder Island. Some of 115 bodies were found buried neatly alongside one another and bore no signs of meeting a violent end. It's likely that they perished from dehydration and that some of them went crazy before they died. Others, including those who were murdered by the mutineers, bore signs of horrific violence, including one man's skull, which was partially lobbed off with a sword. Experts are still studying the remains to learn more about the lives of those who perished at Beacon Island. The unspeakable tragedies that occurred here make for a particularly bizarre tale, even to the researchers who have long studied the signs of carnage that were left behind. Number 8. Corpac Shipwreck A few miles outside the town of Fort William, Scotland, in the small town of Corpac, lies the wreck of the MV Dayspring, more commonly known by its nicknames, the Corpac Shipwreck and the Old Boat of Cowell. It was built as a fishing boat in 1975 it remained in service catching herring and mackerel all the way up until the year 2000. Today, it sits conspicuously in the natural harbor of Cowell Beach, in eerie contrast to the scenic backdrop of towering mountains. The vessel was ripped from her mooring and ran aground during a vicious storm in 2011. She remains where she came to rest, a seemingly ominous reminder of the power of Mother Nature. The Corpac shipwreck is entirely visible and during low tide, it's accessible from all sides. Oddly, in 2017, the ship's buoy triggered its distress beacon, 
prompting a large rescue effort only for emergency workers to realize it was the long-abandoned MV Dayspring. Whether the vessel will ever be removed from the site or repurposed is unclear. What do you think triggered the buoy? Is the ship haunted? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button if you haven't already. Number 7. World Trade Center Ship Construction at the World Trade Center building site ground to a halt in July 2010 when workers found a buried ship just south of Ground Zero. Discovered 22 feet below street level is a pit that eventually became an underground parking garage. The wooden vessel was promptly excavated to avoid damage from air exposure. The ship dates back to around 1773 based on a tree ring analysis, but its identity and history are largely a mystery still to this day. A 2014 study concluded that it was likely made from wood harvested at a small shipyard in Philadelphia and that the wood came from the same kind of white oak trees that were used in the construction of Independence Hall. This makes sense, as Philadelphia was one of the most important shipbuilding cities in the U.S. at the time. But many questions remain, including whether the ship sank accidentally or if it was deliberately submerged as part of an expansion of the Manhattan coastline. Oysters were found on its hull, suggesting that it sat for some time in the water before becoming part of a landfill. Damage to the vessel's wood from shipworms shows that it likely traveled through the Caribbean at least once. But that's about all experts know, and there's a distinct possibility that they may never narrow down the ship's identity. Number 6. Mystery Ship in the Gulf While conducting a seafloor survey in 2011, the Shell Oil Company noticed something off on its sonar roughly 200 miles off the Gulf Coast. The National Atmospheric and Oceanic Administration investigated the following year and discovered the rotting hull of a copper-plated wooden ship, which experts believe sailed sometime during the early to middle 19th century. Located 4,000 feet below the water's surface, the wreck was investigated by a remotely operated vehicle. Explorations yielded the ship's stove, ceramic plates, glass bottles, muskets, cannons, eyeglasses, and more. The stove is an especially rare artifact, one of just a handful of surviving examples ever found according to maritime archaeologist Jack Arian from the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management. National Geographic reported that the ship could have been a pirate vessel, a passenger ship, or used for some other purpose. But for now, nobody knows of its identity or origins. Number 5. The Waratah While sailing in the Indian Ocean from Durban to Cape Town, South Africa in 1909, the steamship SS Waratah and its 211 crew members and passengers vanished without a trace. Nobody has ever discovered the wreck, and there's little evidence pointing towards its fate. According to Live Science, one passenger, who disembarked before the 500-foot-long vessel left Turban, wrote that the ship seemed top-heavy. It is known that the seas were rough the night the Waratah disappeared, and in the following years, bodies and debris were reported throughout the Southern Hemisphere. Legend has it that the ship encountered rough weather and was capsized by a rogue wave. Numerous other theories abound, including the possibility that the vessel sailed aimlessly into the Antarctic Circle, where its crew and passengers died from cold and starvation. The Waratah's disappearance has been described as one of the most baffling nautical mysteries of all time. Number 4. The Jenny Lind The Jenny Lind was a small sailing ship that ran aground on a coral reef in the South Pacific and sank in 1850 while traveling from Melbourne to Singapore. There were 28 passengers aboard, including three children. Thankfully, everyone survived, and they spend the next 37 days on a quay of sand while building a makeshift vessel from Jenny Lynn's wreckage. They then sailed 370 miles to Moreton Bay, near the Australian mainland. A maritime survey showed that the wreck was still visible in 1987, but in 2017, archaeologists concluded that the ocean had destroyed what was left of it, leaving nothing behind. During the expedition, the team discovered and documented four other wrecks, which included cannons, anchors, and ballast stones. They believed that the unidentified ship sank before 1850, which is also the time the reef began appearing on navigation charts. Located along a major trade route between Australia and Dutch and French Pacific colonies, the reef was strewn with wrecks as early as 1857, according to one historical record. Jenny Lynn's disappearance isn't too surprising given the area's reputation for powerful tidal currents that are known to ravage what's left of wrecked ships. 
Speaking with Live Science, archaeologist James Hunter explained that the reef is incredibly dangerous because it's easy not to notice it when it's submerged at high tide, causing some vessels to sail right into it. Researchers hope to identify the shipwrecks that they explored during the 2017 expedition, which would help them learn more about the trading history of the region's early European colonies. Number 3. Indian Ocean's Oldest Shipwreck Around 2,000 years ago, a ship sank off the Sri Lankan coast near the modern-day fishing village of Gaudavaya. The wreck was discovered in 2003, sitting 110 feet below the water's surface. The mass of corroded metal bars was accompanied by glass ingots, pottery, and other ancient cargo. Gaudavaya was an important port, along with the Silk Road trade route during the 2nd century. Rome had annexed Egypt during the previous century, leading to the expansion of trade between the East and West on the Red Sea, which connects to the Indian Ocean. Until this discovery, researchers lacked actual evidence of the ships that participated in the trade. According to Deborah Carlson, who headed several expeditions to the wreck, she suspects that rough seas may have triggered the vessel's demise, and she believes that it was headed toward Rome. But these suspicions remain unconfirmed to this day. As of 2014, Experts were still trying to delineate the exact boundaries of the wreck and hoped to retrieve some of it for further investigation. Number 2. The Mary Rose Commissioned by Henry VIII during the early 16th century, the Mary Rose was a warship of the English Tudor Navy that served for 33 years, despite long-standing rumors that she sank on her maiden voyage. In fact, the ship was used for so long, she was rebuilt in 1536 nearly a decade before she saw her last action. Built with a state-of-the-art design to carry six to eight heavy guns, the Mary Rose was Henry VIII's favorite warship. Throughout her lengthy career, the vessel served in wars against Scotland, France, and Brittany. The ship sank in 1545 after leading an attack on a French invasion fleet, taking all but 35 of her 400 crew members down with her. The incident is shrouded in mystery. According to the Mary Rose Trust, there is only one confirmed eyewitness account of the sinking, which claimed that the Mary Rose was caught in a strong gust of wind while turning after firing all her guns on one side. The vessel flooded and sank, although nobody knows why. Most modern historians believe that the ship was unstable. Perhaps she finally became unseaworthy after decades of service and taking on additional weight. The wreck of the Mary Rose was rediscovered in 1971 and was raised in 1982 with all its guns still loaded, calling into question the eyewitness report of the ship firing all its cannons on one side before sinking. One investigation indicates that the ship was simply altered too much to maintain seaworthiness. Another disputed theory in that the crew was incompetent or ignored orders, leading to the vessel's demise. But the only thing that seems certain about the Mary Rose is that the circumstances surrounding her sinking are as uncertain as ever. And number one, the SS Palo Alto Built as a tanker toward the end of World War I, the SS Palo Alto is a concrete ship that never saw combat. She was made with a combination of concrete and steel, known as ferro-concrete, which was cheaper than using steel alone. But the time the vessel was launched in 1919, it was too late for her to serve in the war. In 1929, she was deliberately grounded and used as part of an entertainment complex off the northern California coast. The repurposed vessel contained a dance floor, a cafe, and a swimming pool, but the company that owned the SS Palo Alto went bankrupt amid the throes of the Great Depression, and rough seas cracked the ship during a winter storm. The state of California bought the ship, and she became a fishing pier, but further weather damage rendered the SS Palo Alto unsafe, and in 1950, she was closed to the public. She was briefly reopened during the 1980s after a short-lived restoration attempt and again in 2016, but not for long. In 2005, dozens of seabirds were killed by oil that was traced to the ship's cracked and leaking fuel tank. Workers discovered hundreds of dead birds and harbor seals during a subsequent $1.7 million cleanup effort. In early 2017, record-breaking 34-foot storm waves smashed the SS Palo Alto in half. Any lingering hopes of restoring the ship are lost as it sits broken into four pieces as a reminder of the harsh waters it calls home. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about mysterious shipwrecks, let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.